Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Bull and today we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series number 100 Deluxe Class Rise of the Beasts Volcano Showdown Bumblebee and here he is in his new um, off-road Camaro alt mode and I'll say it right now he looks freaking fantastic um, and there is a lot to go over about this vehicle mode um, a lot of stuff that's very familiar and some stuff that's not um so for starters as you can see he is a the same kind of camaro that he was um at the very beginning of transformers one and at the very end of bumblebee um that being said he has very clearly had some body work done and now sports uh, a bunch of new off-road parts um for starters you have this nice black uh bumper extender or i don't know i'm not a car guy i don't know the exact terms but you have this nice big uh, black bumper section up front this uh, cage going over his windshield uh these uh, back black window covers um a whole new uh back section uh, as well as all new fenders and uh lifted off-road tires and, oh, and I can't forget, he does have this now uh, the much more angled section on the hood. Um, but uh, aside from that, he is a the same Camaro we've come to know and love, even though he wasn't there for very long, still somehow became super iconic, but whatever. Um, as you can see, up at the front, uh, we have some very nicely painted details, even though some of it is partially obscured by this bumper section. Um, it is very nicely painted. For example, the headlights are all done in silver, and then the surrounding area is painted in a dark gray to make them pop more, which is good. Uh, grill right here painted it in, in gunmetal. Uh, the under grill is painted in silver, or the bumper, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously he does have his racing stripes as are iconic for him now. Um, in the back, obviously, the taillights are painted. Uh, you can see a little bit of robot mode peeking out from this uh, angle right here, but in my opinion, that looks kind of just like exhausts or whatever, so I'm okay with that. What I'm not super happy about is the fact that his arms are just sticking out right here. And, um, you know, to me, that is kind of just an eyesore, personally. Like, obviously, if you have him set down, you don't see it at all, which I guess is kind of what they were thinking still very very um just kind of like come on right and um based on the research i've done um i figured out that this guy is an extensive retool of the studio series 001 um old camaro b which was in turn an extensive retool of the last night deluxe bumblebee so technically the the transformation on this guy is six years old um, so, I don't know, I just thought that was kind of interesting, um, but, uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it for the vehicle mode, and, um, before we get into the transformation, we will, of course, take a quick look at his accessories and how they can store on the vehicle mode, um, here we have the thing that everybody's up in arms over, the very unpainted, um, blade, which is unpainted, um, really a shame, um, that this was unpainted considering he was painted on the previous, uh, uh, Bumblebee from this universe, um, the, um, the Volkswagen Bee, and they just opted not to paint this guy. Kind of is what it is, you know, it's one of those things, there's not really a whole lot to do about it, but, you know, um, so this can store underneath the vehicle mode, there is a tab right there, and you just port that in, like so, and, um, there that sits and that's super clean i really like that storage and of course you know you can see a lot of robot junk down here but it's a bumblebee like and the kibbles cannon so you know and of course we also do have a um his blaster uh which is strangely over painted if that makes sense this was cast in yellow and painted all in the gunmetal color even though they should have only painted the front barrel so whatever um this is part where you need to maybe strip off some paint because this back piece is supposed to be yellow at least it was originally and for storage uh there is a little port right there as well as these two tabs here you use the bottom one 
and just clip that on. Oops. Did I do that right? Come on. Yeah, there we go. And there is that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the vehicle mode, aside from a couple of little things that I want to talk about. Um, you can open his doors. Um, there's no weird chunks that come with them. So you don't unpeg the roof of the car. You can't open the doors. There's nothing to see in there, but um, you will notice that these doors are cast in the same plastic as the rest of the body Oops. Um, because they have attached these clear pieces to the doors. So I think that's cool. Um, just makes it much more cohesive. And unfortunately, the only paint mismatch is here um, behind on this on this clear grill and honestly it's not that bad um it's not super noticeable in harsh lighting like this but it's definitely slightly noticeable um it just needed an extra coat um which sucks but it's it honestly it's so little that i'm not really upset about it so yeah that is pretty much it for his vehicle mode and without further ado let's get into his transformation i'll of course start by removing his accessories and here we have him back. So to start the transformation on this guy, you are going to open the doors like I just showed you. Uh, just open the doors. Those will come all the way out. You will then come to the rear of the car and just detach it. And it'll probably already start to detach anyway, but it's just better if you do it like that. And then what you're going to do is flip him all the way around. Come to the arms and just lift these up. Uh, this tab underneath the arm is pegged into this port right there in his waist. So just bring those arms straight up. And then now you can open these wheel sections. And just collapse them up against the doors like that. And you'll do the same thing on the other side. And there you go. You are most, you're pretty much halfway done at this point. Um... What we're going to do now is we're going to come up to these arms and swing them out on these sections. And now stuff's starting to get real familiar, isn't it? Just bring the arms out like so. Uh, and then what we're going to do is just kind of bring these legs down a little bit to give us our, a little bit more clearance to work with. We're then going to come here and you're going to press up on this bit of yellow right here while pressing against... The, uh, the headlights, and that will allow you to pop up this top grill piece, or top uh, bumper piece, and just, uh, bring this out on the double hinge. Then we will take this whole uh, front of the car section, and these two tabs will go into these two ports right there. So just bring that down and click it into place. And if it didn't already do so, um, which it did, uh, this is how you get the... Um, this back in to vehicle mode is with these spread um, that way, or well, they spread out like a V, but uh, when you um, are going to uh, robot mode, you want them to look like an A, if that makes sense. So you're gonna tilt them in, one click straight for vehicle mode, and then like that for robot mode. And it just gives them a little bit more of a dynamic look. Uh, and then we will come to this back section. I'm actually going to raise up my camera a little bit. Give me give me a little bit more room to work with. We're going to come to this back section, flip that panel in, and then flip this other panel, which pegs in a lot sturdier, in and slowly just bring it up, and that will just fill in that whole gap in his back, like so. Then we'll come to the legs. Oops. Split them apart. Come over to this side, uh, or either side, anyway, they're both the same, and just come pop from here, and then that will allow you to swivel and bring the foot down on this double on this uh, double hinge, and then you're going to rotate it till it faces front, take the bumper and make it so the bottom of the bumper uh, is or flush with the bottom of the foot, then take this side panel and flip it to the inside of the leg. And I like that transformation because it just cleans up everything. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Apply pressure from the outside to pop the bumper. Uh, you'll then come to the foot, bring it down on that double hinge, swivel, bring the bumper down, 
and bring this whole side panel inwards. And last but not least, just gonna rotate his arms downwards and get him all sturdy up. Um, just kind of collapse up the backpack. It is a little bit looser than I would like it to be, but, and without further ado, that is Rise of the Beasts Bumblebee in his very, very good looking robot mode. Um, I love this robot mode, personally. I absolutely love it. I think it looks fantastic. Um, and it is such an improvement from uh, the Volkswagen Bee that we got for the first movie. Um, and I, I just love this guy. He's, he's, he's so much better than that last one. So we'll get up close in those details. We'll start off up at the head. And as you can see, his eyes are a bright, bright blue. Um, and the, they are very piercing. Um, I think that may have been, I think that blue may have been a little bit too bright. Um, but I still think they look really good. Um, now, when this guy first got revealed, there were some complaints that, oh, you know, there's not enough silver. Um, that is because he has more yellow on his head in the new movie. So that's why there's not as much silver. I have these nice little details tampoed on up top. And a bunch of super nicely sculpted mechanical detail going all the way around. Yeah, this angled chest. Um, it's not as, you know, like, angled as it is in the move as as it is in the in the concept art, but it's, it still looks good. Bunch of really nice painting on the arms. As you can see. Um bunch of silver joints are done in gunmetal, and that is plastic. Um, but it blends in really well. Whole torso section is done in that gunmetal plastic, as well as the hips. Going down, a bunch of off still with the amazing silver paint all the way down to his toes. If we turn him around, um, and if you actually can get the kibble to stay in place, he has one of the cleanest bumblebee transformations um, that we've seen in a long time. Because if I fold that, like his his kibble is not bad at all. Um, it's very it's much more compact because usually bumblebee kibble's out like that. So the fact that it goes all the way in and it, it, it looks good, um, especially for a figure of this size. Um, now, um, just talking about the design a little bit, um, he is much more blocky than he was in the last movie, which makes sense because he went from a very round and bubbly um, beetle to this angular Camaro. So as such, his shoulder pads, arm guards, and pretty much all of his details have been squared out, which I like to fit the, the newer aesthetic. Um... And he just looks a little bit more mean. Um, he still looks cute and like, you know, Bumble. He still looks like Bumblebee, but he's just a lot more. Um, I don't know. He just looks like he has a bit more of a temper now. And if you lean up his head, he furrows his like. Cause if you look at the head straight on, he just looks like that. But when you tilt the head up, he's kind of has a furrowed brow and he looks angry. Um, and it's just kind of funny. Um, because uh, his proportions obviously make him a little bit, um, like, I don't know. He looks a little bit, I mean, he's not as human-like as a lot of the other bots. So he looks, you know, a lot more silly, cute, maybe. I don't know. Um, he's, he's just a really good-looking, uh, really good-looking figure, in my opinion, anyway. Um, and the yellow is coming through super bright on my camera. It is not that bright in person. Um, it is slightly more orange than it is coming through, um, but, uh, yeah, he looks really, really good. Of course, you know, you do have the kibble on the back of the feet, but that just gives him wider feet and wider, and, like, longer feet, and it's never a bad thing, and that allows you to get a lot of really good poses. Um, head is on a ball joint. Uh, rotates uh, all around. You do get a little bit of up and down, just a little bit. Uh, the shoulders are on just ball joints, so those shoulders go out like that, and they do go around 360 if they don't bump into the back kibble. Uh, there is an elbow swivel, as well as a 90-degree joint at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist, unfortunately. Uh, you do have a waist swivel, uh, which is just a mushroom peg. Uh, hips go forward that far back if you bring it around the cable back that far 
and out, out a decent amount, uh, there is a thigh swivel. You have a single jointed knee, which does reveal a little bit more detail. Uh, that goes about 90 degrees. Uh, the foot uh, does have a swivel as well as a pivot. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for his posability. And um, I'm really happy with this guy. Uh, he doesn't fall apart, and he's really uh, nicely posable. His proportions are really good. Um, and he looks even better when you arm him up with his accessories. Um, so for starters, you take the cannon and that little, uh, 3.5 millimeter port just plugs into his, that might be five millimeters actually, whatever. Um, and that just plugs into his hand, uh, like so. And then he can go blast all the Decepticons. Um, and that looks good. Again, would have been nicer if that was yellow, like it's supposed to be. Uh, but it is what it is, you know, whatever. And you can take his blade and plug that onto just the two ports on either arm. Uh, the cannon only works on this arm, uh, but the blade can work on either. And you just plug that in and he can go slice some Decepticons or um, Terracons in this movie. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's still going to be some Decepticons in it. Anyway, um... And yeah, he's just so much more fun than um, the Studio Series 18 Volkswagen B, and I just can't get over that. Um, pretty much every gripe I had with that figure, they have fixed with this figure. You know, um, they even fixed some stuff that wasn't really a gripe, but more of a nitpick. Like, for example, his hands look bigger and not as scary now because they're molded into a fist rather than the kind of like the open grip he had last time. Um, his proportions are better. His vehicle mold holds together amazingly. His robot mold holds together really well. Um, he doesn't look like a spindly mess, and he has the big feet. He has the, the stubby arms, or the not the stubby, but like the chunky arms, and he just looks chunky, and he's, and he's got all the right details in all the right places, and he even has flapping wings. Is it accurate? No. Well, actually, we don't know, but um, he can articulate the wings, and they look good. Uh, you can also point them straight back if that's something you want, if that's a look you want. Um, or you can fold one of them in. I don't know. There's You can use that joint uh, in a couple different ways. Like, if you want a little bit more dynamic, then you can just have the wings like that, and that looks good. That looks really good. He looks really, really good. And, um, yeah... Uh, before I end it off, I do want to take a quick look um, at uh, a size comparison between him and the Voyager class Cheetor uh, from Rise of the Beasts, because that is currently the only other Rise of the Beasts figure that I have. And, um, yeah, Bumblebee is a small deluxe. He's a very small deluxe. Um, but I definitely think that he is worth the bang for your buck um because a lot of the engineering here even though it's not necessarily new engineering um it works for this guy and um i all the new tooling is amazing um and yeah he's just fun he's just fun is what he is um and there's not often that we get a transformer that's just fun anymore I, or not I, I, I don't mean that but you know a lot of figures now they're just spindly and fiddly and annoying and this guy isn't like that and um so far from at least these two rise of the beast guys this is shaping up to be some of the best uh transformers figures at least i've handled in a long time and i'm really excited about that hope that uh falls true for the movie but we'll see and uh yeah and that's pretty much it for me without further ado uh yeah i'll uh see you guys in the next one peace